Chief Justice has now responded to the Ganesh Puja that uh, took place at his residence. Remember, the Prime Minister had visited his residence for the Ganesh Puja, after which a controversy had erupted with uh, several raising questions on this visit. Now, the Chief Justice has broken his silence and has also responded to the critics. And he says that the opposition statements are unnecessary, unwarranted and illogical. In fact, he went on to say that uh, people have the maturity to understand that the judiciary is completely independent. Going on to say that such aspersions should not be cast on the independence of the judiciary. Legal editor Harish Naya joining us on the broadcast with the details. Harish, a big controversy had broken out and this is the first time the Chief Justice has spoken on it and he has dismissed any questions that have been raised on the independence of the judiciary saying the entire controversy was unnecessary and illogical. Yes, that's right, uh, Padiba. When the video had gone viral, it has uh, re re resulted in a lot of hue and cry, especially among uh, the opposition parties and also several senior advocates also had, uh, uh, including Indra Jaising had said that uh, the uh, principle of separation of powers has been compromised and uh, raised questions of the independence of the judiciary. And now the Chief Justice has for the first time termed the controversy as unnecessary, unwarranted and illogical said the heads of political executive visit judges' houses for social occasions, but independence of judiciary is so deeply entrenched that judicial matters are never even discussed. The Prime Minister and Chief Ministers do visit the residences of Chief Justices of India, Chief, uh, Chief, Chief Justices of High Courts and judges on social occasions like children's marriage or festivities, but I cannot recount a single occasion where either the Chief Justice of India or judges of the Supreme Court ever discuss any judicial matter with the executive heads of the Union of States, and except for exchange of pleasantries, no other matter is discussed. This is what he said. And very importantly, he said, there is enough maturity among judges of constitutional courts and heads of executive to firmly keep aside judicial matters out of the purview of any discussion. And it's very, very normal for uh, Chief Justice, uh, in fact, the state Chief Justice to meet these Chief, chief Ministers to discuss infrastructure uh, related issues, grant of uh, funds, etc. Back to you. Okay, all right. So let's take a look at what the opposition had said. The opposition had raised several questions on uh, the visit of the Prime Minister to the Chief Justice's residence for the Ganesh Puja. The visuals are on the screens, but let's take a look at some of the criticism that this entire event had caused. Now, uh, the NCP, Sharad Pawar faction, had gone on to say that uh, when the Supreme surrender, the nation suffers. This is the kind of criticism that had taken place. Uh, in fact, remember, these questions had been raised by the opposition leaders time and again. So, take a look at this. The, uh, Clyde Trasto of the NCP, uh, Samajwadi Party, uh, 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 my sincere apologies, uh, Sharad Pawar faction going on to say that when the Supreme surrender, um, the nation suffers. So raising questions on the Prime Minister's visit to the Chief Justice's residence. These are the questions that had been raised. Rashid Alvi, in fact, spoke two times now earlier today as well. And despite the clarification that came in from the Chief Justice, he continued to say that this is unacceptable, that this is not a norm. We don't see it happen anywhere else in the country. Remember, such criticisms came in from the opposition despite the Chief Justice saying that this is an accepted norm. It happens in the states as well, where the Chief Justice of the state meets the Chief Minister, and such questions are never raised. In fact, some of the leaders had also said that this raises questions on the independence of the judiciary. Uh, you're seeing the leaders on the screens, many of them from several parties from the India bloc, going on to question this meeting of the Prime Minister when he visited the Chief Justice's residence. So these are the questions that had been raised. Some of the opposition leaders even going on to say that this raises questions on the independence of the judiciary. Now, a clarification has come in from the Chief Justice, but the opposition refuses to relent. My colleague Mohit Bhatt is joining us on the broadcast with the details. Mohit, uh, the Chief Justice has spoken about it. Uh, he has said that this is an accepted norm. It happens in the states as well. And he has made it very clear. There should be no question because cases are not discussed in these meetings. These are just social meetings. So why raise any controversy over it? He calls it illogical. Well, yes, in fact, and you see, this is the first time that the Chief Justice of India has spoken on the allegation 
that have come in from the opposition parties, eminent personalities, former uh, members of the of the legal community. They basically uh, stated that uh, the CGI should not have gone to the residence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and why exactly he went. And they raised questions on the judiciary, saying that judiciary has been compromised. Now, this question was being asked to the CGI. He basically stated that it's a norm. It's a usual thing that the Prime Minister or the Chief Minister, they meet uh, the Chief Justice of the State or the Chief Justice of the country at social events. They meet, they greet each other, they, uh, uh, they exchange pleasant peace, but nothing about the cases is being dis discussed. And it's wrong to say that if, the, uh, if any judge has met a political person, mm -hmm. then a, a deal has been uh, scratched between uh, the individuals. So he goes on to say that in states also, it's a normal norm that the Chief Justice of the State uh, goes and meets the CM because there are various work regarding the infrastructure that needs to be discussed, but nothing regarding the pending cases or what's going on within the judiciary is being discussed. Now, this all comes after Prime Minister Narendra Modi went to the residence of CJI D.Y. Chandrachur uh, last month for a Ganesh Chaturthi celebration, and after that we saw that how a massive political war broke out, while the BJP stated that the opposition is trying to attack the judiciary, the opposition stated that judiciary becomes compromised if CJI goes to such yes. programs. But the BJP now says, when the statement has come from the CJI, yes. that the CJI has given a strong message to all the doubters. Yes, and, the uh, BJP it, now saying that the Chief Justice has set the record straight. So why should the opposition continue to raise questions on the same? So the BJP has slammed the opposition. Listen. Justice of India has slammed rightly so the doubters who are creating all kinds of doubts and making all kinds of aspersions on the post of the CGI constitutional position by saying that because PM attended Ganesh Arati at CGI's residence, it was a deal being stuck between them. This is the most unwholesome, illogical and ridiculous comment and the CGI has called it out. The fact of the matter is that many chief justices, chief justices of India often meet prime minister, meet the government heads, meet the chief ministers. This is how cordial relations should exist. But unfortunately for India Alliance, if the Iftar party is organized in 2009 and the Chief Justice of India goes for that, that is secular. But Ganesh Arati is communal. Ganesh Arati is criticized by the India Alliance, especially UBT and Congress, because they have problem with Ganesh Arati. Today, these people have been called out. Those who have been the worst offenders when it comes to judiciary, making committed judiciary, superseding judges, having judges like Baharul Islam, they are commenting on state of judiciary. And these are the same people who put Parivar Tantra above Lok Tantra. They say judiciary is good, election commission is good when the verdict is in our favor. If the verdict is against them, they start abusing chief justice, they start abusing election commission. Look at the language used by Ram Gopal Yadav. Look at the language used by Odit Raj. So the BJP has hit out at the opposition saying, why should such questions be raised? This tradition has been going on for several years now. It happens in the States. It has happened in the past in the country as well. Why raise these questions? The BJP, in fact, going on to say that the objection that the India bloc has, has is not with the meeting, but the fact that it was a Ganesh Puja at the Chief Justice's residence. So the Prime Minister had visited the CGI's residence, after which the controversy broke out. Several of the opposition leaders had raised several questions saying this, raises questions on independence. In fact, some had also gone on to say that such meetings between the Prime Minister and the Chief Justice cannot be tolerated in the country and saying that such events should not even be made public. In fact, uh, some had also raised questions on the Chief Justice, saying that he does not practice what he preaches and says that it questioned the credibility of the Prime Minister and the Chief Justice. So the controversy around it continues despite the clarification by the CGI, the opposition continues.